Sam is present in Castle Black in the weeks following John's return. Sam tells John that Alistair Thorne and Maester Aemon are ready to judge John for his actions. Sam tries to cheer John up and tells him he hasn't done anything wrong. John counters that he's done plenty wrong. People mockingly call him Slayer after he claimed to kill a White Walker. Sam visits Gilly to ask how she is doing at Castle Black. He complains to her that nobody believes he killed the White Walker. Then, he admits to being paranoid about what his fellow brothers are thinking about her. Sam tells Gilly that he thinks that she would be safer at Mole's town. He assures that he is only doing this to protect her. They arrive at Mole's town and Sam tells the manager that she can cook and clean. He also refuses to let Gilly do other jobs. Gilly thinks that Sam is doing it for himself and not thinking of her, which upsets Sam. Sam and John are talking in the library and Sam is worried about Gilly now that he realizes the wildlings are attacking villages. John tries to assure him she's safer there. They then discuss Bran going beyond the wall, which Sam told John. They try to work out where he is before they are interrupted by Locke. When John and his fellow black brothers return from the raid on Craster's Keep, Sam is one of the first to greet him. He is also present when John tries to convince Alistair Thorne that they should seal the tunnel due to the threat of Mance Raider and his wildling army. The news of the wildling attack on Mole's town reaches Castle Black. Sam is horrified by the news, believing he sent Gilly and her baby to their deaths. Edison Tollett argues that Gilly managed to survive Craster, the long march back to the wall, and even a white walker. This gives Sam hope that Gilly may have survived. Atop the wall, John and Sam are staring out into the darkness of the north and awaiting the imminent wildling invasion. Sam attempts to interrogate John about what it was like to be with a woman, stating that as their deaths are likely imminent, it may be his last chance to find out. Sam brings up that the vows of the Night's Watch only explicitly forbid members from taking wives or producing children, and that other activities are open to interpretation. John replies glumly that Alistair Thorne most likely does not care about their interpretations. When further pressed by Sam to describe lying down with Wygreet, John attempts to explain but is unable to properly express it, proclaiming exasperatedly that he's not a bleeding poet. John offers to take the watch up alone so Sam can go below. Meanwhile, Sam is caught reading a book about wildlings by Maester Eamon. Eamon correctly guesses that Sam is reading the book because he wants to know what kind of fate might have befallen Gilly if she fell into wildling hands during the sack of Mole's town. He also surmises that Sam has shown such a keen interest in her fate because he is in love with her, despite Sam's protests to the contrary. Eamon muses about the girl he once loved, stating that he can still picture her as clear as day and that she is more real than Sam is. After being dismissed by Eamon, Sam leaves the maester's chambers only to hear Gilly at the gate begging to be allowed inside, revealing her survival of the Mole's town massacre and her identity as the cloaked figure approaching Castle Black. Piper attempts to deny her passage into the castle, saying he is not allowed to open the gate at any circumstances. However, Sam roars at Pip to allow her in, causing Pip to relent and let her in. Sam promises Gilly wherever she goes next he will go too, but their reunion is cut short by two blows from the horn, indicating that Mansa's wildling army has finally begun their assault on Castle Black. Sam rushes to get Gilly safely inside the castle while other brothers of the Night's Watch prepares for the imminent attack by the wildlings. Sam brings Gilly and her baby to a storage room where she can hide. Gilly wants Sam to stay with her as he promised, but he cannot as he sworn to defend the wall as a brother of the Night's Watch. Before he leaves her, Gilly begs Sam to promise her that he won't die and the two finally share a kiss. As Sam and Piper are preparing arrows at the southern gate, Piper laments that he never seen a real battle before or ever even held an edged blade. Piper asks how Sam is not afraid, but Sam replies that he is, as there are thousands of wildlings about to overrun them. Piper asks how he managed to kill a white walker while being afraid, and Sam says that at that moment, he just had to do something or Gilly would have been killed and her baby would have been taken. Sam further explains that at that moment, he wasn't himself, he was nothing and when you are nothing there is nothing to be afraid of. Before walking away, he looks at Piper and says, I'm not nothing anymore. When the battle begins, Sam and Pip take part in defending Castle Black's southern gate. 
Pip is firing a crossbow as Sam assists by reloading another crossbow, but Pipey's aim is poor due to inexperience and nerves and he repeatedly misses his shots. The band of wildlings manage to reach Castle Black's walls and begin scaling them using grappling hooks and ropes, forcing Sam and Pip to retreat. Later, Pip is fatally shot by Wygreet and Sam comforts him as he dies. Sam is forced to leave Pipey's body and as he heads to Castle Black's lift system, but he is spotted by the then warg. The warg charges at Sam as he desperately attempts to load his crossbow, managing to do so and firing a bolt into the warg's head just before he reaches him. Sam then arrives atop the wall to ask John for more men to defend the castle, and John tasks Sam with releasing Ghost from his pen to assist in the fighting. Once the battle was over, Sam returns to Gilly just like he promised and discovers Yano Slint, who hid in fear during the entire battle. The following morning, John discusses with Sam that he has a suicidal solution to end the wildling threat. He plans to assassinate Mance Raider, noting that he is the only thing binding the disparate wildling clans that make up the army, and his death will rob them of that purpose and leadership. Sam tries to talk sense into John, but to no avail. As John prepares to leave via Castle Black's tunnel, they discover the bodies of the Black brothers who held the inner gate against the giant. Gren is amongst the casualties and John tells Sam that all bodies must be burned. Before John leaves, he remembers the promise he made to Gior Mormont and decides to leave Longclaw with Sam. Sam tells John to come back, and John looks at Sam and smiles unreassuringly before stepping out into the wilderness on the other side of the gate. After the arrival of Stannis Baratheon, Sam is present when the Night's Watch burn the bodies of those who were slain during the battle. 